In this video, we will introduce some aspects related to the preparation, composition and management of a good compost. What is compost? Compost is made from the decomposition of easily degradable organic mixtures thanks to a series of microorganisms. This results in an organic product that can be used in agricultural soils to improve their structure and content in organic matter and nutrition and to maintain their microbial life. How is compost made? Compost can be made in two ways, piling up organic waste on plastic containers or using a homemade composter. To produce it, it's important to select the right ingredients, which can be classified into compostable waste, such as food leftovers and pruning waste, and non-compostable waste, like plastics and wires. A compost pile should have a right balance of waste materials to achieve an ideal mixture of 30 parts of carbon for one of nitrogen. In general, all green matter and products that rot very easily are rich in nitrogen. On the other hand, everything that doesn't rot and doesn't smell is a source of carbon. Likewise, the compost pile must also have a balanced content of waste materials with respect to their water composition. Suitable proportions are two-thirds of wet waste per one-third of dry waste. How is waste material piled up to compost? The right way of combining nitrogen-rich materials with others that are carbon-rich involves making compost piles in layers. To do this, we'll start by putting a generous layer of crushed pruning waste in order to collect most of the leachate that will be produced. Next, we will add layers of our nitrogen source waste interspersed with sawdust until we reach the last layer, which will consist only of a generous amount of sawdust. Apart from its composition, it's important to remember that the compost pile needs to have a good aeration, so we'll have to stir it by turning it around once in a while with a pitchfork or a similar gardening implement. How is a compost pile controlled? To control our compost pile, we must pay special attention to its temperature and humidity. In this case, we'll use a module to measure these values. If we don't have one of these instruments, we can always use a simple thermometer to track the different phases. In the first days, during the thermophilic phase, the temperature of the pile should be between 45 and 60 degrees C. This phase will be followed by the cooling process, during which the temperature should be reduced to 40 degrees C. Finally, during the ripening phase, the compost pile should be at ambient temperature. At the same time, the humidity within the system should always be between 45 and 55 percent. How to know if you've prepared the compost correctly? Would you like to know if you've made the compost in the right way? Pay attention to the following characteristics. Appearance and smell acceptable. Desired level of agronomically useful components. Homogeneous and uniform. If your compost has these properties, you have a 100 percent acceptable compost. <laughs> 